we're in the second half of the match between world champion Magnus Carlsen and challenger Fabiano Caruana. Now, up till now, all games have ended in a draw, but Caruana came really close in the last game to winning. The tension is increasing. The players, no doubt, are getting more tired. So this is a real psychological drama. Who is going to be the first to blink? Who can win the first game? Carlsen opened with the D-pawn and the players repeated the bishop f4 variation of the queen's gambit that we saw in the second game of the match. Fabiano played an unusual queen retreat and that got Carlsen thinking. In fact, both players consumed a fair amount of time feeling their way through the position. Carlsen's pieces were always a little better placed but Caruana succeeded in exchanging to reduce the pressure and held the draw in an endgame. A game with tense moments, but the balance was never significantly disturbed. Just, just in general, I wanted to ask about, obviously, the seventh draw. Um, is this just modern chess, or is this a, a function of, of the, your styles, and, and, and that's what's happening? Or how, how do you explain the, the seven draws? Okay, after the first game, the games have been pretty tight. We mm. haven't really given many chances to one another. Yep. Um, and yeah, there haven't been like huge mistakes or anything. So, mm. so it's kind of natural that the games will, a lot of the games will end peacefully. Of course, I mean, things could have happened. Yeah, like in the last game, in the first game, um, there could have been decisive results, but uh, yeah, not, not, okay. not so far. I mean, I mean castling is just an, yeah, essentially an admission that the position is position is equal. So. Yeah. Okay. So knight c4. You thought that was the. Yeah. The... Well, I think for, I, Fabiano mentioned it after the game, and we discussed it brief, briefly. And yeah. I, I mean, I was also looking at f4, which is interesting, but probably nonsensical. Let's take a look at that position that Magnus mentioned after the game. So here he said that casting was basically an admission that white has nothing in this position and Fabiano did indeed make a draw fairly easily. So he mentioned two moves here, f4 first of all, and he said this was nonsensical. Well, this does look very risky or without going into detail. When you give the bishop a chance here to attack that pawn, it does look uh, very strange. But the other move he mentioned, knight e4, and Caruana was also discussing this move after the game. This is much more interesting. Obviously, there is pressure on this diagonal with the pin. Now, black has to develop here. So, bishop d7. And now, let's put a bit more pressure on these diagonals. So, the queen comes up attacking black's knight. Now, black can use tactics to get out of this. Knight takes knight. So if bishop takes queen, then we can play knight takes queen. So knight takes. Now, this started to look very nice for white because bishop takes queen threatened, queen takes knight threatened. But actually, black still has f6. And now more tactics. Queen takes knight. Starts to look very complicated. Obviously, again, if Pawn takes queen, we can take the queen here. So pawn takes bishop. And now bishop takes pawn. Now, without going into fantastic detail, um, this is a really double-edged position. Now, Magnus said he rejected this because he wasn't sure about black's two bishops, which I completely understand here because sometimes there's a chance for this bishop to cut back to attack the queen. Sometimes this bishop can come to c6. Don't forget, rook on the semi-open file. Of course, the advantage from white's viewpoint is that black's pawns have been really badly damaged here. Isolated pawn and a double pawn here. So it's a really double-edged situation, but basically Magnus thought, don't want to go there. I mean, Caruana said this is, he thought, the, the only chance, but, well... He also didn't think it was so bad for black at all. But yeah, as we saw, castles basically didn't lead to much for white at all. So seven draws we've had, just the same as in the World Championship match in 2016. And then 
we had a decisive game. So let's see what happens in the eighth game. <laughs> 